and a band of moderate snow continuing to push through southern Wisconsin. You can see visibility at Mitchell International downtown and on the DOT cameras, not so bad. And that's where we're starting with travel for this morning. Just checked with the DOT's handful of accidents on the freeways. Now, for the most part, the freeways are generally on the wet side, but side streets and driveways are snow covered and slippery, so allow a little bit of extra time. A lot of pre-salting down before the snow began to fall last night, and salters are still out. But keeping an eye on a band of some heavier snow, it's really kind of just stretching from far southeastern Dodge County across Jeff and then south into all oh, the kind of the eastern portions of Rock and Walworth County. This is a good moderate snow, but we're drying nicely to the west of Madison and this snow is going to taper off, I would say in the next 60 to 90 minutes. Now most of us will come in with a two to four inch snowfall. Winter weather advisory stay in place until around two o'clock. It's after that two o'clock hour, we will start to see the snow begin to taper off. 21 now at the airport, temperatures have actually fallen as a heavier snow has come down. Our winds right now are north at 16. Look at that feels like temperature, seven degrees. We get a little chill in place over the next uh, 36 to about 48 hours. We'll hold in the low to mid 20s now to two o'clock, moderate and blowing snow between two and four. All of this gradually begins to taper off as most come in two to four inches, then breezy and turning colder tonight. Evening temperatures falling into the teens, overnight lows at 12. We'll see you at one with another update.